hi everyone. So I'm Inti Sar, a product marketing manager at uh, 4D. And I'm happy to be here today to present you the latest and the greatest. Um, so this product webinar is a little bit special. It's a sneak peek uh, of what's await you in the 4D world tool, but it also introduces the features of an LTS that I'm personally very proud of. Um, so 4D has been on a mission to help you build your business for years and years. To stay true to our promise, we kept our core intact and we made powerful features on top of it along the way. Before getting started, here is a high level video of the features we will cover in this webinar. So on this positive note, let's get started and discover some of those features. For TV19 is silicon native. We wanted to provide you with the silicon native version of 4D as soon as possible. You will notice a massive difference in terms of speed thanks to Apple M1's remarkable performance. Going native with the V19 is simple. You compile your application and make sure to be in project mode. We already published many blog posts to guide you through the build process. So don't hesitate to give it a try. Next, an exciting concept with the V19, the introduction of object-oriented programming in 4D with classes. So object-oriented programming is a philosophy that resembles everything with real-life objects, and implementation is done accordingly. Let's say we want to manage rectangles and circles. Both are shapes. They have all the properties of a shape. They also have additional features. So we create a rectangle class and a circle class, and both classes inherit characteristics from the shape class. As you can see, the object-oriented uh, programming relies on the concept of classes and objects, which makes it very close to other programming languages. Here you can see a class in 4D that is similar to a class in JavaScript and TypeScript. Object-oriented programming allowed us to push the 4D language far beyond what was previously possible to promise greater productivity, better code quality, and lower maintenance costs. We can't emphasize enough on the power and the benefits of OOP. This approach hides complex business logic and makes the code easy to understand. If you are still hesitating whether to take the plunge or not, check in this tutorial by Tiran and see yourself how complex concepts such as blockchain is really made easy with classes. Now let's talk about the 4D Rust server. I can proudly say that the V19 is web ready. The many features we delivered, such as the core support, scalable web sessions, other data classes, and the list goes on, allow you to build different sets of applications. From the simplest one, like this one, the to-do app application, where the backend relies on the 3D server, uh, REST server only, a server that provides a very rich API allowing to do more in less time, and the front end is purely React. 
to something more advanced like a bookstore application with complex functionalities. Once again, the application's back end is purely 4D and Angular for the front end. As I said, the 4D V19 comes with many web related features to help you prepare the ground for the future. A huge project sorry, that is keeping our teams really busy is on the way to help you build complete web applications using nothing but for, the, for both the back end and the front end. Still, they also help you today if you already do your own web development using frameworks, you know, just like uh, React or Angular, just like the, the examples we just saw. And besides the web features, 4DV19 is shaped with many new programming capabilities like email management, security and list books features, the code editor and debugger enhancements, administration advances, and many new commands that will simplify your developer's life. Next, we have project mode. So everything I mentioned before and more wouldn't be possible without the project mode. Features such as Apple Silicon um, classes, macros that allows to automate repetitive tasks, direct CSS preview in the form editor, simplification of users and groups management, continuous integration and continuous deployment to fully automate the build process. And customers are already loving it, working with it and sharing with us their experience. It even allowed us to push on GitHub all the how do I's, example applications, and even the source code of some of our internal products like 4D Write Pro. Everything is made available for you on GitHub, promising a new era of collaboration. And for those who don't know what project mode is, it's simple. So instead of having all your code forms, etc., in one binary file, everything now is separated into different folders and files. We already published the blog posts, tutorials, how do I's videos, but if you still can't find a way to move to project mode, contact us and our teams will help you. And before ending this section, I just want to say that we are betting on this new architecture since it really paves the way for many features and functionalities that you will be happy to have in your 4D applications. Now let's talk about 4D for iOS. So the product got enhanced with a set of features that are essential for any mobile app. Deep linking in combination with push notifications will keep your iOS app users engaged and informed. This feature allows you to bring them directly to the desired place in a single click, which ensures a seamless user experience. Barcode scanning is also available for an enhanced search, which makes it possible to have apps adapted to fill situations such as warehouse inventory needs. And Signature is an excellent solution to get your customer signature after package delivery, for example. So with this new format, the Signature format, you can sign with your fingertip and send signatures directly from your app to the server. Another exciting feature, offline mode. So this feature is essential for delivery apps with GPS navigations, apps for urgent medical assistance, construction businesses, and banking apps. So how does it work? When no network is available, the tasks are put in a queue waiting for the 4D server to be available. You can edit and delete your pending tasks as long as the server is not accessible. And once the connection to the 4D server is back, these pending tasks will be automatically processed and executed in chronologically relevant order, as you can see in this 
screen. And what about Android devices? So with the V19 beta, we offered you a preview of 4D for Android. The same mobile project can now generate both native iOS and native Android apps. We paid attention to provide very similar user experiences on both platforms while still caring for their standards. 44 Android is offered as a preview in the V19 beta only, and we expect to release it starting with the V19 R2. Next, we have 4D Write Pro with two huge requested features. As the title suggests, you can now import Word documents into 4D Write Pro. And without installing any print drivers or additional softwares, 4D Write Pro documents can be exported directly to PDF format, as you can see from this video. This actually allows mass producing PDFs, such as invoices on a server using all available cores, for example, to send them in an email. It's much faster, but you also get control over picture resolution, for example, small to be optimized for emails or large with higher quality to be optimized for printing. And it even supports hyperlinks which would not work through the system print driver. This makes 4 d Write Pro a perfect tool to create reports, invoices, or similar documents needed as PDF. And last, we have 4 d View Pro. So beside localization, where we added five additional languages to English, French, Portuguese, Spanish, German, and Japanese, we also added many features to the V19 that were highly requested by our customers, such as the support of find and replace by programming, and off-screen area where, for example, you can use 4D View Pro off-screen area and export documents in PDF or MS Excel files. Many features are delivered with 4D View Pro aiming to increase productivity, such as PDF export, Excel file import and export, and it's not needed to learn the feature-rich 4D View Pro language to create complex reports. You open the received file, fill in some cells, and save it again or send it as an email answer. So this is just a sneak peek of what 4D V19 has to offer. More details and examples will be provided during the 4D World Tool this fall. We are looking forward to hear your thoughts about the features we delivered with this HTS. Thank you for joining us today, and I hope to see you soon.